Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Clear Hue. If you are new here, Namaste. My name is Rakshita and this channel is all about skincare, wellness and makeup. So if you are interested in any of those, don't forget to subscribe. Alright guys, so in today's video we are going to talk about Plum's uh, newest launch. It's the Plum's Deodorizing Pit Cream. Now this is basically uh, like, I'll just show you. This is basically like a cream that Plum has introduced that is supposed to work like a deodorant. And I'm going to discuss like all the ingredients and how it worked for me. I have a few like solid thoughts about it because I have been using it in the past week. Like I've used it for a whole week and yep, I have a lot of thoughts. So so let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so I decided to put my hair a little back because it was being really unruly and I do not like unruly hair. So like a like tied up hair is way more manageable. So now I can comfortably get by the video. So let's discuss the ingredients in the said product. Alright, so the first ingredient that we have in here is ethyl hexyl palmitate. What it is, is basically like a thickener, something that gives the, uh, the cream its texture. Basically also like an emulsifier, uh, an emollient, so you could take it for that. Then we have some cornstarch. Now cornstarch is supposed to be an absorbent. Alright, what is an absorbent? Now since this is supposed to be a, a deodorizing cream, what it's gonna do is basically absorb your sweat. Alright, because if you don't know, our sweat is not like naturally stinky, but there is some bacteria in the areas where we sweat especially like our armpits or any folds in our body so what it does is that it digests our sweat and then literally poops all over so what we smell is basically that bacteria's poop and that is what smells horrible so now we have like definitely we are going to have some absorbance so the first one here is cornstarch then we have citrile alcohol Citryl alcohol is an emollient. It's a, uh, like, you know, it's there in a lot of moisturizers, sometimes in face washes too. A really good emollient. I actually really appreciate uh, having citryl alcohol in something. And our underarms are kind of, you know, like ignored. We don't even moisturize them as much. Like I have had my underarms lasered, like in the past, I've, I've got them lasered. And, uh, you know, every time I'd go for a laser session, they'd ask me to moisturize the area and I'd almost always forget which is not a good thing to do you should moisturize them so this cream has some moisturizers that I'm going to discuss that I'm particularly really happy about then we have glyceryl stearate it is again an emollient a rich emollient if you don't know an emollient is basically like a moisturizer a really intense moisturizer so I like that then we have silica in here silica again is an absorbent all right it's gonna absorb fluids or whatever so basically like helping in absorb your sweat then we have magnesium hydroxide and magnesium carbonate hydroxide again both of these are absorbents like I said this is a deodorant we are gonna have a lot of absorbents in here Then we have a cocoa seed butter cocoa butter we all know is very moisturizing very soothing and nice for the skin so I really appreciate that then we have fragrance yes the whole line uh, this whole body loving range from plum is based on fragrance by the way if you want reviews of all the other products from this range i have made a video about it i link it in the description if you want to see so basically there's fragrance in here then we have kaolin clay kaolin clay is in a lot of our face masks as well since you know it's an absorbent too it absorbs oil from our pores that is why we use kaolin clay face mask so in this one kaolin clay is going to absorb your sweat Alright guys, so up next I have Carnoba uh, Wax and Candidelia Wax. <laughs> Basically they are both waxes so their function would be to enhance the texture of your product, give it that slip. Basically also working like an emollient and Carnoba Wax actually also works like an absorbent. So these are the benefits to these ingredients. Then we have hydrogenated soy polyglycerides. Now the word polyglycerides indicates that this is again an emollient. It's basically skin soothing ingredient. It's going to help keep your underarms nice and moisturized. Then we have C13. Dash two three alkanes. What these do are basically they are skin softening ingredients, so they are there for that. Then we have acai fruit extract. Now acai fruit or acai berry fruit extract is basically an antioxidant. So I like seeing an antioxidant in a deodorant. That's great. Then we have sodium benzoate. Now sodium benzoate is basically just a preservative. 
and it's good to have preservatives in your products now for a lot of people who believe that their products shouldn't have preservatives preservatives are like bad and blah and blah don't believe that garbage preservatives are actually necessary otherwise your products are gonna get microbial growth in them and you don't want that trust me <laughs> so preservatives are good then we have potassium sorbate which is again a preservative then we have a really long name i'm not even going to try and pronounce it i'm going to leave it on the screen that is also a preservative then we have green tea leaf extract now here's um, a little something something i saw in the packaging the packaging says that they have green tea oil uh, which they claim works as an antibacterial agent to you know keep the bacteria away but I didn't see any green tea oil there's green tea leaf extract and these two are like absolutely different things oils and extracts are very different oils are much concentrated extracts are very diluted and I don't think it at such low concentrations it's gonna have like a massive antimicrobial effect or anything so I kind of hate that plum is kind of misleading with the packaging when they are writing something in the description and something else in the ingredients list I wish they would be true to you know uh, like they'd have in their ingredient list what they're actually advertising in their description so that's like a little glitch I got here then the last ingredient is caprylic triglyceride now caprylic triglyceride is again an emollient good rich and moisturizing now we just discussed the ingredients in this product like i said this has a lot of absorbents in here your deodorant your deodorant should have a lot of like absorbents in there in there because these are basically necessary to you know uh, absorb your sweat okay i wish there was some strong antimicrobial agent in here too but i'm sad to see there isn't like any star antimicrobial agent but i still have thoughts on this i'm going to share my experience and i guess that's going to make it more clear for you so now let's get on to me sharing my experience using this all right guys let's get into uh, my review of the product how it how well it worked now before i start like telling you how it worked for me let me just tell you i am not one of those lucky few who are like you know i don't i don't get smelly like my natural musk is all that's there <laughs> again i am not one of those i am very smelly and i have no shame in accepting that i'm the perfect candidate for trying a deodorant i need one all the time and that's just it that's the story of it but luckily i don't sweat so much i just have to like you know like my underarms are the only area that i have to take care of apart from that i don't really sweat that much on my body or even on my face so i think that makes me kind of lucky but yeah so let's get into how well this worked for me first of all here's the product it's a white colored cream i got it in the scent hawaiian rumba uh, off the range first of all this scent is my favorite the hawaiian rumba one just i don't know how to describe smells but kind of smells sweet and beachy and vacationy i don't know <laughs> but see basically this is what the product looks like as you can see this is basically like a cream that comes with a spatula first of all it's not very convenient to use okay i'm gonna just say it right out there it's not i wish it was one on a stick instead because you just want to like you know use your deodorant and get out the gate using this is kind of like a headache like you have to scoop out some and then use your hands it could get messy okay so does this work drum roll please <laughs> yes it works it definitely works i have been trying it for like a week now and i have put it through a lot i've slept wearing this i have uh, like you know worked out a lot i worked out for two hours straight with this on like my underarms and i did not smell at all i was still smelling fresh and nice this is what i really appreciated so it most definitely works like i said uh, with this one um, i know a lot of people are always concerned if this smells too strong and if it would interfere with the other perfumes no it won't the smell won't exactly go away it stays on for like six to seven hours you will be able to smell like 
the Hawaiian rumba scent but if it's like you really get in close of your underarms and try and smell otherwise it's not gonna smell that bad it's not gonna like you know interfere with your other perfumes basically it's good to use even the scented versions it's fine you could just you know like wear a perfume this is this is not gonna like mix in with the smell of that perfume now one thing I do want to talk about a lot of people switch to deodorants like these because of the whole uh, myth around uh, going around that aluminium in your deodorants is harmful and causes breast cancer well it does not take my word for it there is no evident scientific research literally nothing in the medical books that ever ever says that aluminium is bad and it causes cancer the fact is aluminium doesn't even get absorbed in your skin that much it gets absorbed like 0.01 percent or something but it doesn't get absorbed anything more than that and aluminium basically it works like it like it works like a plug in your sweat glands it's not going to make your underarm sweat uh, in return which which basically means that you know you're not gonna sweat much so the bacteria won't get a lot of food and since they won't get a lot of food they are not gonna be like shitting everywhere in your underarm and causing that bad smell so this is how basically aluminium works so alumi you don't have to search for aluminium free alternatives because it is not harmful take my word for it but this one is aluminium free if you're looking for that i don't know like you shouldn't be but if you're still into that this one is definitely aluminium free i read out the entire ingredients list i didn't see any aluminium so that is something someone who's trying to go aluminium free would appreciate then again like i said it's not very convenient to use because of the whole jar it could get messy and i am particularly like a really busy person i know a lot of you are i'm just a finally a medical student i'm struggling very very hard to find time for anything to be honest so I'm always on the go so I would much rather pre prefer like a deodorant or a you know antiperspirant to be in a stick form so that is again something while this this is a deodorant this is not an antiperspirant it's not exactly gonna you know like uh, stop your sweat from coming through it's not gonna do that it's basically just gonna absorb that sweat and not make you smell bad that's it that's what it does it's not an antiperspirant so don't confuse it with that so all in all would I like recommend this product to you definitely why not if you're into something like that if you have the time if you don't think this is gonna be messy for you definitely give this a try uh, if it worked for me I am hoping it's gonna work for most people so again I recommend it and give this a try if you're into something like that Alright guys, so basically this was it for my review of the Plums Deodorizing Cream. I hope you liked the video and if you liked the video, don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. I could really, really use your support right here. And if your friends are in need of a good suggestion or basically just a review of this video, share it with them. Leave uh, your favorite uh, deodorants in the comment section below. I'd like to try sorry <laughs> i'd like to try your favorite deodorants and yeah that's it for today's video i'll see you in the next one until then bye bye